Hello and welcome to Richard's Reviews. Today I'm going to do a very short video on the Gorillapod 3K. This arrived this week and I've got some information about it and I want to share that with you. I ordered the Gorillapod from Amazon on the 16th of May and I paid £54 for it. It arrived quite quickly and in the meantime I've been waiting for some other items to arrive. Um, in particular I wanted to fasten my Zoom H1 to the top of the camera and then take the camera together with the Gorillapod out. Well, I can report that today the other parts arrived and so all excitedly I fixed everything together. That was the Canon 70D together with the Zoom H1 um, and uh, picked it up for the first time literally the first time and absolute disaster occurred and I'm going to tell you what that disaster was and show you what the outcome is now. When I picked the camera up for the first time what happened was that the camera head became detached from the Gorilla Pod, and the consequence of this was that the camera crashed to the ground complete with a Zoom H1 attached to the top of it. Well, this wasn't good news because the Zoom H1 was smashed to pieces. Um, today, I've had to order a new one at the cost of 79 pounds. The old one was beyond economic repair. So I've now uh, detached the, um, the camera from the tripod, the recording tripod I use in the house. And you'll see I've, um, I'm actually recording uh, on this at the moment and um, I have sound going in from my SM58 microphone which is going through the mixer desk. On the bottom of the camera I have screwed, um, well you can see that, the, this is the plate um, that comes with the Gorilla Pod, and you need a screwdriver just to fit that onto it so it's quite secure. On the bottom of the uh, Gorilla Pod or shall we say the top of the Gorilla Pod, there is this sliding section which accepts that. And at the front of there, there is a push point here. Now if you look, when we push this, there's a plastic lever there that goes down. So, when we put the two together, um, that plastic section goes into here. So simply, Put it in until it clicks and that's it. Now, very carefully, this is what happened earlier. I had a H1 mounted on the top and I was holding the Gorilla Pod um, from here. I picked it up for the first time, complete with the H1. As I picked it up in this room, the, um, without touching this, this actually came free like that. As you can see, it's possible to get this off without pressing that button. In other words, it fell to the floor. Um, it fell with the H1, Zoom H1 at the top and smashed to pieces. I've ordered a new one today at the cost of £79. But I am not taking this outside uh, to use it other than maybe in a static situation uh, because I do not feel that this is an acceptable unit. I would also just add as well, this is relatively lightweight. This is the 3K version and it feels very, very light. I have had two occasions whilst uh, the camera's been standing on it where the camera's actually fallen over um, because these legs, um, although they feel quite sturdy, are not actually uh, strong enough to hold the camera. So I'm sorry, uh, Joby, um, Gorilla Pod. I'm only going to give you possibly a two out of ten. Nice finish, nice idea, but this has cost me £79 
and I'm not particularly happy about that. And I just thought I'd warn you about it, uh, just in case anybody's had similar experience. Well, I hope you found that useful. And if you've had similar experiences, or indeed any experiences, please feel free to share them. Give us a thumbs up and a like or subscribe, it does help. In the meantime, I hope to see you in the next one.